Hi, it's Ryan from Rock Auto. Many people own winter dogs like Huskies or Akitas in hot climate areas, whether it's on Florida or on Thailand. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question from JV Glenn, which is, can Akitas live in tropical countries like Philippines? I'm going to talk about this topic more generally. I'm not going to talk about Akitas on Philippines, but about winter dogs living in hot climate areas. Uh, because it doesn't matter if we are talking about Okitas on Philippines or Malamud in Italy or I don't know, Husky in Brazil, for example. The short answer is yes, they definitely can live in those areas. And it is because breeds like Huskies, Malamuds, Akitas or San Bernard are extremely adaptable dogs. But it is also true that it is harder for them to live in those areas and you should always try to make it easier for them. Before I will give you advice what you should do to help your dog, I will give you one that you should definitely not. You should never shave your dog's coat. This might be tempting some people because they think they will help their dog in hot weather. But the truth is, their coat is insulating in the cold, but it is also insulating in warm weather. So if you shave your dog, it will be harder for him to live in hot weather and he will be also more prone to things like dehydration or heat stroke. Okay, now let's talk about how you can make it easier for your dog to live in hot climate. The first thing is very clear and it's totally basic, but it is also the most important one. Your dog must have access to clear and cold water all day long. In addition, you can try to give him some frozen treats. Another thing is that you should avoid outdoors during the day. Try to go for a walk early in the morning and late in the evening when it's cooler outside. It is also better for your dog if you go for two shorter walks rather than one long. If it's impossible to you to keep your dog inside during the day, he should have access to some kind of a shelter where he can hide in the shade and it's dry and clean. If you can give your dog air-conditioned room, that is the best thing you can do for him. But he will be also happy for, I don't know, kitty pool where he can cool down. Anything that can cool down your dog will be great for him. Just make sure to make some cool zones for him where he can rest. Another thing that you should do for your dog is brush his coat regularly. As I said, never shave it completely but brushing and removing excess hair is a must that will encourage the natural process of shedding. I have one last tip for you, but it is really important and it is not only for winter dogs, but for dogs in general, because it can have fatal consequences. Never leave your dog in car alone, never. If you need to travel by car, then make sure that your air condition is turned on. But it is really important to never leave your dog in car alone because it's extremely dangerous. The most common health problem associated with heat is heat stroke and dehydration. The signs of heat stroke are heavy panting, salivation, disorientation, glazed eyes, pale gums, and the worst, collapse and vomiting. If you think your dog is having heat stroke, Immediately cool him down with towels and water and contact veterinary as soon as possible. I was talking about frozen treats for your dog earlier in the video. I found the best and easiest dog recipes for frozen treats online and I'm giving you a link in the description, so check it out. The one I like the most is frozen yogurt with strawberries and it's so simple, you just need to put fresh strawberries to plain yogurt and put it in the fridge. Your dog will love it and strawberries are actually great for him. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any other questions related to dogs, I will be happy to answer them. Just leave me a comment. If you like dogs as much as we do, check out Rock Dog on Facebook and Instagram. You can find the links below. You will love the content out there. See you in the next video.